Welcome everybody to another Gordie Howe International Bridge video where suddenly I am an expert at bridge engineering which I'm not I'm just joking so I'm at the Gordie Howe International Bridge site after a pretty good snowfall let's see what chat GPT has to say about Gordy that Howe. sounds like a great setting for some cinematic shots. Well, the snow probably makes the bridge construction look even more dramatic. Are well, you getting drone footage or just filming from the ground? How did you know I have a drone? <laughs> you have a good memory. You mentioned here. before that you take a lot of drone videos. Wow, that's pretty this impressive. This seems like the perfect spot for some aerial shots, especially with the fresh snow. How's the visibility out there? It is really good, but I'm, I'm impressed that you have the memory, an AI memory. Yeah, I remember things from our past conversations. It helps me keep up with your projects and what you're into. Sounds like you've got ideal conditions for filming. Are you going for wide landscape shots or focusing more on the bridge details? Interesting, do you know where I am right now? Like what's my location? No, I don't know your exact location in real time. I just know you said you're at the Gordie Howe International Bridge site, right. but I don't track where you are. I'm just checking to see if you're tracking me. If I'm what? Tracking you? Nope, definitely not. I just remember things you've told me before, but I don't have real time location tracking or anything like that. Just here to chat and mm -hmm. keep up with what you're working on. Sure, so you say. I believe you. What? Aha, I get the skepticism. But mm -hmm. yeah, no tracking, just memory from our chats. Anyway, how's anyway. the bridge looking with all that snow? Must be a cool contrast with the steel and concrete. Anyway, yeah, it does look good. You know, what's the uh, weather right now in Detroit, Michigan with the temperature? Right now in Detroit, it's cloudy with a temperature of 19 degrees Fahrenheit or minus seven Celsius, according to AccuWeather. It's breezy with flurries and the wind is from the west northwest at 16 miles per hour. What's the wind chill? In Detroit, the wind chill is currently around two degrees Fahrenheit or minus 17 Celsius. This means it feels much colder than the actual temperature due to the wind. So explain to the viewers the uh, Gordie Howe International Bridge building process and the history. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a massive new border crossing between Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario, named after the legendary hockey player Gordie Howe. Once completed, it will be one of the longest cable stayed bridges in North America, spanning the Detroit River. This bridge is designed to improve traffic flow and trade between the US and Canada, providing a much needed alternative to the Ambassador Bridge. It will have six lanes for vehicles, plus a multi-use path for pedestrians and cyclists, making it one of the most modern crossings in the region. Construction started in 2018, and it's expected to open in 2025. Right now, the massive towers are already standing tall, and the cables are coming together to form the final mm -hmm. structure. Once it's done, it'll be a game changer for travel and commerce in the Detroit Windsor area. That's pretty good narration for the viewers. Glad you think so. That should give your audience a solid understanding of the bridge's importance. Are you planning to do a voiceover for this or just let the visuals tell the story? No, because I'm not an expert bridge engineer and I don't want to act like I am and try to fool my viewers or anything. That's a great approach. It's always better to keep it real and let your viewers know you're sharing what you see and experience rather than pretending to be an expert. You could always highlight the significance of the project without getting too technical. That way it's informative, but still authentic.
When is the opening of the bridge? The official opening of the Gordie Howe International Bridge is expected to be in 2025. They've been making solid progress, so it looks like it'll be ready for traffic around then. And what companies are involved in the process? Several companies are involved in the construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. The Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority, WDBA, is overseeing the whole project, and the Bridging North America Consortium is responsible for building it. This consortium includes companies like ACS Infrastructure, a Spanish company with a large presence in infrastructure projects, Fluor Corporation, an American engineering and construction firm, Dragados, another major Spanish construction company, Stantec, a Canadian design and consulting company, these firms are working together to complete the bridge's design, construction, and financing. The project also includes a partnership with Akon and Kiwit for the design and build work. Hey, can you tell me the FAA guidelines for flying a drone at the bridge site? Because Could you clarify which specific FAA guidelines you're asking about? There are different rules for drone flights depending on what you're doing, whether it's for recreational or commercial purposes, or if you're flying near airports, etc. I can definitely help break it down once I know which part you're referring to. As far as flying near the Gordie Howe International Bridge construction zone. When flying near the Gordie Howe International Bridge Construction Zone, you'll need to be aware of several FAA guidelines and restrictions. Since it's a major infrastructure project and located near an international border, here are some key things to consider. One, restricted airspace. The area around the bridge is likely to be within restricted or controlled airspace, it's actually especially not. because it's close to an international border. You'll need to check the FAA's Before You Fly app or FAA sectional charts to confirm if any temporary flight restrictions, TFRs, are in place. Two, no-fly zones. International border areas often have no-fly zones due to security concerns, so you should ensure the area isn't off-limits for drones. Three, altitude limitations. The FAA generally restricts drones to a maximum altitude of 400 feet above ground level unless you're flying within a controlled airspace and have special permission. 4. Authorization required. If you're flying in controlled airspace near airports, such as Detroit Metropolitan Airport, you'll need to obtain LAIC approval, low altitude authorization and notification capability through the FAA before flying. 5. Safety protocols. Make sure to fly at a safe distance from workers and machinery. Construction zones are often crowded, and unauthorized flight could endanger safety. Before you take off, it's always best to check for temporary flight restrictions, TFRs, specific to the location through the FAA website. Yeah, I use my FAA and FAA app that tells me what's restricted or not, and I have clearance here, but I seem to have a lot of micromanagers who like to make these comments that I'm breaking some kind of laws. So wanted to clarify that for everyone. It's frustrating when people try to police your drone flying, especially when you're following the proper regulations and using the tools to check for restrictions. Some folks just aren't familiar with the FAA rules, and they may not realize that certain areas, like construction zones or near borders, are open for approved drone flights under specific conditions. If you're following all the guidelines, including having the proper clearance and using the app to confirm no restrictions, then you're flying legally. You might want to consider calmly explaining to those who question your flight that you've done your research and have clearance. Actually, if I don't know still what to say anymore. A quick look people. at your app or documentation could help reassure them. Are these comments happening mostly from viewers or are there on-site people involved in the construction? Um, they're definitely on site and you're welcome viewers Glad I could help yeah, if sure. you run into any <laughs> other issues or need advice just let me know okay well thank you for that I'm talking to her AI voice it's crazy of course anytime